How much fuel is enough? Flying from this airfield with three runways, where most flights are local and with Dundee over the hill, it's possible to get lazy with fuel management. What if you need to divert but can't get there? Fog, cloud base, unfavorable winds, a runway out of use. There's a lot to think about there, and if you get it wrong, you could be in trouble with a capital T. It's good practice to carry 45 minutes beyond what you think you need for the trip. You might have to go further than you think. It's happened to me, it might happen to you. Make sure you always dip or visually inspect your own tanks. Don't trust the tech log for your fuel planning. It's a log, not a fuel gauge. Well-meaning and competent people still make mistakes. The previous person is not responsible for your safety. The commander is, that's you. In the PA-28, this is a simple matter of looking at the level marker. Are you at tabs or is it full? In the Cessna, you have to climb up onto the aircraft with a dipstick. Put the dipstick into the fuel tank and feel it hit the bottom. Hold it thumbs off for a few seconds to let the sloshing dull out and then thumb it at the top firmly and have a look at your reading. I usually repeat this three times because sloshing sometimes messes up the result. Maybe I moved it around or maybe there was a gust of wind. And I usually text the number to myself so that I don't forget. If you're unsure of how to correctly enter the information into the aircraft's tech log, the ops team will always be happy to help you. Good habits. One, don't drink the fuel. Two, uh, no really, don't. Sample your fuel before every flight. If you hold the fuel up against something white, the aircraft's skin say, it should have a blue tint for avgas. If it does not, smell it to make sure that it is actually fuel. If there's no smell, it could be all water. If there's water contamination in the fuel, it will look like this. Keep draining the tank until you are sampling all fuel again. If it's been accidentally mixed with jet fuel, it might look the same, but it will have a distinctive jet smell. Go and speak to an engineer if you're in doubt. Make sure the sampling valve isn't dripping when you walk away, otherwise you'll be losing fuel that you thought you had. Check your units. The aircraft uses US gallons, but the pumps use liters. There are conversion tables available in ops. When you refuel at the pumps, always carry out your own confirmation that the correct quantity has been uplifted. You will not insult the fueler by doing this. You are a team backing each other up. Finally, make sure that the fuel caps are securely on when you're finished. Always remember that you are the commander. Be in charge of your aircraft. Stay safe and have some fun out there.